Live show. This is going to be a lot of fun today. We're going to hopefully see both of these contestants get slimed. And I'm going to be your host for today. My name is Jessica, and I'm really excited to have a chance to ask these guys some fun questions about animal grossology, and we're gonna learn a lot. And I need all of you audience members to pay really good attention because our two contestants can at any time ask you guys for some help. So we'll be pulling the audience, hopefully a lot, and trying to find out um, if you guys can help them with our animal grossology questions. Okay. <laughs> All right, so our rules, um, each contestant will be asked a question on their own. We're going to have three rounds of five minutes with varying questions. And so how it is going to work is if they get a question wrong, they automatically get a strike, an X provided by our two lovely co-hosts here. And if they get a question right, they can either take away one of their own strikes or give a strike to the other contestant. So we're going to see what they do. They might get a little competitive giving each other strikes back and forth. But the first person to five strikes will get slimed first. And hopefully we can get both of these guys slimed today if we can get them both to five strikes. So we'll see what happens. But let's get started um, and go. Let's, we're going to start round one. All right. So let's start with contestant number one over here. I have a question for you. It's multiple choice. Where do dogs sweat? A, out of their skin, B, out of their tails, or C, out of their tongues? So where do we think dogs sweat? A, do you have a... You're t thinking C, out of their tongues? Is that final answer? Yeah, that's a final answer. OK. And she is correct. They do sweat out of their tongues. They also release a lot of energy through their paws as well. So what would you, oh, we don't have any strikes. So that means contestant number two is going to get a strike. Uh-oh. All right. All right, contestant number two. I'm going to ask you, how far can a talented dung beetle move its poo ball in a minute? That's gross, isn't it? A, 10 inches, B, 15 yards, or C, three feet. So how far can a talented dung beetle move its poo ball in a minute? Saying three feet. All right, is that a final answer? No? All right, he's saying A, 10 inches. Is that a final answer? B. B. <laughs> is that, do you want to go with B? 15 yards? C. Alex. C. C. A. All right, B, A, final answer. I am sorry, it is B, 15 yards. So dung beetles can move their poop 15 yards. That is so gross. So you will be getting a strike. Two strikes. All right, and we are going to go to contestant number two. One, sorry. Um, what did the ancient Egyptians call a dung beetle? A, a scarab beetle. B, a roller beetle, or C, a stink bug. So what did the ancient Egyptians call a dung beetle? Do you have an idea? I, f I feel like it's A. The scarab beetle? Yeah. Yeah, the scarab beetle? You are correct, it is A. Great job. All right, so our contestant number one is choosing to give an X to contestant number two. Oh, he's getting pretty close there. She, he has three and she has zero. So maybe we'll see him get slimed soon. Uh-oh. All right. Um, and we have one more question in this round. So we're going to ask contestant number two. How does a hagfish 
defend itself? A, it shoots lightning. B, it secretes slime. Or C, deadly stingers on their claws. So how does a hagfish defend itself? Have any idea? B, it secretes slime, yeah? And you are correct, it does secrete slime. Very good, are you gonna give her? Yeah, okay, he has chosen to give our contestant number one a strike. All right, so we are going to go on to round two. Does one of his like go away? Nope. And we are going to go back to contestant number one. And this time, we are going to do true and false questions. And remember, the audience can help you at any time if you're a little stuck with a question. So if a rat gets hot, it will be soaked with sweat. True or false? If a rat gets hot, it will be soaked with sweat. Do you want to ask the audience? OK. What do you guys think? Raise your hand if you think it's true. What? Nobody thinks it's true? Raise your hand if you think it's false. False. So do you want to go with the audience? I'm going with false. He's, she's going with false. And you guys are correct, it is false. So, yeah. So rats don't sweat at all. They use their tails and soles of their feet to cool themselves off. So you guys are right, they don't sweat. Yes, do you want to give him an X? Yeah, All right, we will be giving him another strike. We're getting really close. He could get, he could get slime next round, this, this question. So let's see. True or false, some camels have more than one hump. True or false? Some camels have more than one hump. True, he's saying true. And he is right, a lot of camels do have more than one hump. All right, and he is choosing to give an X over to contestant number one. All right. True or false, our fingernails grow about an inch every six months. True or false? That's really gross, right? That's a lot of nails. Do you want to ask the audience again? Sure. Our fingernails grow about an inch every six months. You're going with true? And she is right. They do grow that much every six months. Isn't that gross? And she's giving him an X, everyone. So we are going to see a sliming right now. All right. And if I could have a countdown, we're gonna count down from three. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh! Oh my goodness. So now contestant number two will have all his strikes cleared and he's gonna start back um, at zero strikes. So we will see if we can get our other contestant slimed by the end of our show. It is a little colder. Yeah. All right. So now we're gonna go back to who just got slimed and ask him another question. Um, we're gonna have one more question in this round. True or false, there are some vegetarian spiders. You saw the answer? What do you think? Yeah, the audience can see the answer. Oh, okay, well that's okay. Do you, do you, I'll ask you another question then. A ringworm isn't really a worm. True or false? A ringworm ring isn't really a worm. 
True or false? Do you want to ask the audience? True? Is that your final answer? Yeah. Well, he is right. A ringworm is not really a worm. It's actually a fungus. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a fungus before, um, but it is actually a fungus. It's really gross still either way. Yeah. All right, so are you going to give her a strike? All right, can we have a strike to contestant one? Uh-oh. All right, we're going to see if we, in our last round, if we can have contestant number one striked as well. All right. All right, so what do you think a baby shark is called? A pup? What, what do you want? You can ask the audience. Do you want to ask the audience? How about, how about we have the audience help her out? No? What is a baby shark called? I don't know if they ever said this in Finding Nemo. I know they have a lot of sharks in that movie. I don't think they said this. A kid? Is that your final answer? Yeah? I'm sorry, it is not called a kid, it's called a pup. I did hear a few people saying that. You guys were right. All right, so you're gonna get another strike, and you are one strike away from being slimed. So we're gonna see if we can get you with this next question. Um, all right, so what color do you think giraffe's tongues are. What color do you think giraffe's tongues are? Purple? Is that your final answer? I'm sorry, they're actually black and pink. And they use their long tugs to grab food from the tree. So they're really long too. Kind of, kind of gross. All right, so we're going to ask another question. They can pick their nose. Um, all right, so people are not the only animals that greet with a kiss. Name one other animal that says hello with a smooch. Do you want me to repeat the question? Yeah. People aren't the only animals that greet with a kiss. Name another animal that says hello with a smooch. Do you want to ask the audience? A dog? Is that what you want to say? Yeah. I'm sorry, our answer is chimps. They are closely related to us. So you are going to get slimed. Are you excited? All right. If we could have a countdown to the slime. One, three, two, one. Oh. All right. How was that? Was that fun? It was fun. That was really fun. Good. I'm glad. It is all slimy. That's why it's called slime. I need a towel. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for coming out today and seeing our two contestants get slimed. And thank you for participating as an audience and helping them answer those difficult questions. If you are at all interested in being a contestant, we have all of these shows on the weekends, and you can either call or go on the davinciSciencecenter.org um, slash slime to sign up, because we do, we have three shows on Saturdays and two on Sundays, so please come. We're doing this until September, and we hope to see you back to get slime. So have a great rest of your day.